If you're a leader, what do you think your future team will look like? I've seen a lot of headlines recently, you might have seen them as well, from CEOs of large organisations around Australia who are insisting that all their people, all their team, have to come back to the office full time. They're saying during the pandemic, we had to work from home and now we've had this this hybrid situation, flexible work, but no more of that. The best way, the only way for us to collaborate and build the team culture that we want is to have everybody working full time in the office five days a week, the way that it used to be, especially pre-COVID. And if you're that kind of leader, and look, fair enough, but it's a very limiting way to think about the future team and the future workplace. If you think that the, the team of the future is going to be just like the team of the past, where it just happens that the best team are the people who happen to live within commuting distance of your office, um, it's really limiting yourself and limiting your organization and also limiting the, the sort of people that you'll attract to your work and to your workplace. And I, I like to think of this like my local library. I spend quite a bit of time in my local library now because it's a nice place for me to go and um, work and uh, when I'm not speaking at events or running workshops, and it's a 10 minute walk from home, so it's convenient. And you know, libraries now are very different from libraries when I was growing up, when I was at school and uni, when I was using libraries a lot, they used to be these really quiet spaces. In fact, noise was frowned upon and in fact forbidden. Uh, but now it's very different. Your local library is like a community hub. You can still go there to borrow books and to study or to work quietly on your laptop as, uh, as I do, but it's a noisy place. You're allowed to take phone calls in your library. You're allowed to have conversations out loud. There's even a corner where there are kids and their kids' activities um, that are happening there. So they're very loud, loud areas. There's a little community spot where groups can come together and um, have conversations and there's no real limit on how loud they can be. You can eat and drink in the library, in certain areas of the library. Um, and if you still want that quiet area and you still want to use the library the way that it used to be, they even provide free earplugs if the noise gets too much for you. But my point is that libraries haven't tried to hold on to the old idea that it had to be this quiet, silent space. They've completely transformed what a library means. In fact, as a library member, I can still get some benefits without even stepping foot into the library because my library membership gives me access to library of eBooks that I can borrow and read on my devices at home. Uh, it gives me access to streaming movie uh, services, which non-library members don't get access to. So I can use the library without even physically being there and if I do want to physically be there it's very different from the way that a library used to be and I'd like to think that progressive leaders would also think the same way about team and workplace the team of the future is going to be very different from the team of the past well it could be very different or you could try to just drag your people back into the past and have that kind of workplace that kind of team. But I reckon if you do that, it will make it much more difficult for you to attract the best people and for you to create a workplace that people want to be part of. And the workplace doesn't have to be the office. And this is one of the four pillars of the future of work. And I'm running a free public online presentation about this soon. So we'll talk about these four pillars, which are about uh, assess, attract, augment, and adapt. And I'll give you some strategic things you can think about as we're looking into the year ahead. And I'll also give you some very practical things that you can do right now to, to help your team and to help you on your leadership journey. Um, it's free to register, so you'll find the link here. Please register, and because it's open to everybody, feel free to share it with other people in your team and other leaders in your network as well. I'll see you in the future.